Good afternoon. It's great to join uh, us again on the program, The Buzz, which is a social media show on television on this lovely Wednesday afternoon, the 5th of September, 2018. My name, as always, is Patience Bello Kafo, and I'm happy and excited to introduce my panel for this uh, edition of the show uh, to us today. It's a pleasure to have come back on the show, uh, a legal practitioner, and uh, he has... Uh, years and wealth of experience, particularly in the oil and gas industry. Mr. Chesson Akinsonya, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you indeed for joining us today. Thank you. Also, I have a renowned journalist and uh, media lobbyist, <laughs> even though I don't know what you're lobbying for. <laughs> I love you for <laughs> Hello, More like a media strategist to me. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Justin Apovi Esadi. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you, Patience. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Also, we have a newcomer on the program today. Ding, 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 ding. I said I'm going to get a bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's the political uh, correspondent for the Guardian newspapers, Mr. Samson Ezia. Good afternoon, sir. Absolutely, it's a pleasure Thank to be you. here today. It's a pleasure to have you join us on the show. Yeah. All right, viewers, remember the number to use once again is 0802 8368971. That's the number uh, to interact with us on, and it's for SMS only. All right, we're starting with uh, the report on the Federal Road Safety Commission. Uh, we hear that officials are now to bear arms for personnel safety. As various security agencies step up measures towards tackling insecurity in the country, the Federal Road Safety Commission says it has taken steps to arm its roadside personnel for their own safety due to increased rate of casualties. Uh, if we recall, in December 2016, the FRSC was forced to release a statement urging members of the public to ignore reports that the, co the commission has begun distributing and mandating its personnel to carry arms. It followed a complaint by the call Marshal Boboye uh, Oyeyemi that 70 officers lost their lives in 2016 alone to reckless motorists. Uh, but recently, reports say that the Federal Road Safety Commission has built its armory in Guagualada, Abuja, while there are weapon rooms in all of the commands of the commission. The commission's spokesman, Bisi Kazim, however, disclosed that though the act permits FRSC personnel to bear arms, the commission is waiting for government to gazette the approval. Now, this is a footage from 2016 uh, featuring uh, the commission's um, marshal, Boboye Oyeyemi, you know, talking about uh, the need for uh, his men to actually go about with arms. Let's take that uh, footage quickly. Drivers, making them that our drivers are... Bringing together all state commanders and sector heads of the Federal Road Safety Corps, Corps Marshal Boboye Oyeyemi, noted that this year has seen an unprecedented rate of intentional violence employed against road safety officials. He emphasized that with the death of over 70 road safety officials in 2016 alone, there has been an increase in personnel casualties at the hands of motorists who drive on the wrong side of the law. A recent occurrence was the happening in Teletama Forest and Parra State, where a motorist ran into the mobile court in session, killing three operatives almost instantly, while a civil defense operative died later as a result of injury sustained in the dastardly act. But the question is this, must we give up, give up on our country? Will any foreigner come to change our road situation for us? Following the implementation of a reviewed road safety enforcement strategy, the FRSC has recorded an unprecedented 25% reduction in road fatalities and a 15% reduction in road accidents. In actual terms, there have been 4,005 deaths and 7,657 road crashes at the end of the 47th week in 2016. The Corps Marshal emphasized that violent acts will soon be met with the full force of arms as stipulated by the Act establishing the Federal Road Safety Commission. The Act gives powers to the Corps to bear arms. Our personnel have been trained, about 5,000 of, 5, of them have been trained. We are just waiting for the revalidation of the early approval. Okay? So the Act gives us the power. We've received approval. 5,000 personnel have been trained. So it's not, it's not an arm rubber. Insurance cannot replace life. 
that is my that is one of the issues we want to tackle as strategic sessions. Most of these cases, they were not on the road. They were by the roadside carrying out their lawful duties. And you now see a violent driver just going for them because especially what is needed today is this, this enforcement on overloading. While the FRSC intends to protect road users, they believe recent trends necessitate measures that will safeguard the guardian. Measures, they hope, will eliminate unjustifiable acts of violence against their personnel. Gentlemen, since this news broke uh, two days ago, people have gone online uh, on social media uh, talking about, you know, various reasons why uh, the FRSC should not allow their men to carry arms, even though the act establishing the commission uh, does allow them to bear arms. And uh, people are pointing to the fact that without arms already, uh, some of the men of the FRSC, you know, harass uh, innocent uh, citizens uh, talk more of when uh, they have weapons on them and uh, due to this fact some videos of uh, FRSC men harassing Nigerians have begun trending online again this is one of such videos that I was able to pick up let's check this one out is the number to use. All right, gentlemen, on the one hand, uh, uh, the men of the Federal Road Safety Commission who are concerned for their, their, yeah, their own safety. On the other hand, uh, innocent Nigerians who feel that arming men of the FRSC you know, might lead to more killings. We've heard of uh, extrajudicial killings by uh, armed, uh, armed men before. So, but let me ask this question. How does or how will arming men of the FRSC actually solve a anything? Let's start with you, uh, Mr. Chesson. Oh, well, it's an interesting development. And uh, 
also a concerning one to me. Mm. Um, I think the society is becoming too violent, not just from the point of view of the law enforcement agents, but also Nigerians generally. Mm -hmm. People are not prepared to uh, respect the law or respect law enforcement agents. So they are, they, from the side of the law enforcement agents, they mm -hmm. think the only way they can be respected is if they have you know, uh, uh, instruments of violence. Okay. All these people will mm -hmm. be afraid of you know, mm -hmm. uh, challenging them physically. I mean, the pictures that we, we saw there, you know, of the commotion between the FRC men and the passengers yeah. is not encouraging. Mm -hmm. Ordinarily, if you are reprimanded, I mean, if you are apprehended, mm -hmm. you should submit yourself to the law, mm -hmm. and then maybe go to trial. Mm -hmm. If you are innocent, you'll be set free. Mm -hmm. We were seeing people fighting the law enforcement agents and all that. And the such situation could also lead to violence against them and even death. And they said many people yeah. have died from, from criminal. So the, the, the problem is that who are the people that they are, simple, I mean, are for, to, uh, that they are responsible for? They are they're responsible for preventing um, traffic incidents and crimes, mm. basically. The, 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 it's road safety that mm. they work on. So I'm just wondering whether going to the extent of using arms will be what should be done. But at the same time, you have to look at the society these days. Everybody, people are just generally violent. They react in violent manner to things. So it's a head and chicken you know, issue. Mm. OK. All right, Mr. Justin. Uh, now I think that the work of the FRSE is more civil you know, than criminal. <laughs> they are not to arrest criminals, basically. Uh, why do they need guns? to do their jobs. The day any government we put pen to paper and okay the fact that uh, road safety corps members should carry arms, mm. that is the end of Nigeria. Mm. Then they should, uh, Ambo, they should as well give arms to uh, last month. Mm. Uh, there's another funny one, they ride bicycles. Uh, LNSC. Uh -huh, mm. and, uh, uh, the, <laughs> Which other one? Civil defense. Okay, civil defense. They already, yeah, already, they, they, they already armed, yeah. mm. and they, 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 they've been deployed to the pipelines, mm. which is a more volatile area. area. Yeah. But I, I make bold to say that uh, giving arms to these men, this uh, receptor. In the past, yes, when you you were stopped by uh, any personnel of the receptor. They check what they are supposed to check and issue you uh, uh, a so ticket mm -hmm. and ask you to go and pay at the bank. Now they are even worse than policemen. So if you give them an AK-47, we are done in this country. So I understand what uh, 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 Mr. Uh, yes, the lawyer in our midst is trying to say. The, the society is actually getting violent. Mm. And if you also look at what the, the Komasha said, that uh, 70 of their uh, personnel mm. uh, died in uh, avoidable mm -hmm. uh, accident or something like that. When a, a road safety personnel jumps into the road, let me also um, uh, make it clear. Now, in, at the moment, presently, when uh, these people stop you. I mean the road safety people. When they stop you, you are a potential victim of extortion. <laughs> no, they don't. They no longer stop you to check whether you have expired tires. Your tires will always be expired. <laughs> if your extinguisher, they 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 will have a way of using their eye gauge to check whether it's is full or half. Mm. So it's is they come with that. Uh, uh, mindset mm. to assault you mm. is it, I, 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 I okay because maybe because of the fact that uh, dog not they eat dog okay maybe they they tried this several times it did, it did not work on somebody like me <laughs> uh, but I because you're one of them <laughs> <some sense. laughs> dog not they eat dog okay. so you these people when the day I'm telling you patient the day they will give them even a small piece of hand piece of okay. Mm. We are we are finished. Okay. 
All right. Uh, let me let me bring you, Mr. Ezia, into this uh, conversation. <laughs> to carry or not to carry arms? What do you think? Well, before the, the, the issue I have, I don't want to sound emotional about okay. the situation. Mm. The problem I have with, have with Nigeria is that uh, Nigeria is a country is that we try to sound too emotional mm. when it comes to issues like this. And sometimes we don't know what we want as a people, both as government and as a people. Actually, if there is an act that empowers road safety to carry arms upon establishment of the road safety, mm -hmm. and the uh, successive government have been delaying it, why postpone the evil days? Why not take the act back to the National Assembly to repeal that particular section of act? Okay. Okay. That's what they expected from the government to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before now, they will have taken it back to the National Assembly, who has power to make it. And take it out. To take the act, the thing out. But it is there. That is the law. And they are, they are, they are working on that. And if they are working on that, why will it take us donkey years to do that? Mm. It is either you cannot, you cannot uh, 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 have your cake and at the same time eat it. This is the problem I have with this country. In as much as real safety may not be, the, their personnel may not be all that right, and some of them can be violent, some of them can be aggressive. What did the law say? We are working, we are, we are in a democratic setting, for God's sake. It was the same issue we had when the civil defense wanted to carry arms. There were like uh, inter-security rival between civil defense and the police and all of them. They were pushing here and there, eventually the civil defense were armed. So we are back to square one again. Instead of continuing, because if you say rule of law constitutionalism, you have to operate within the ambit of the law. If you say that this is what Mr. A should go home with, you mm -hmm. give it to Mr. A. Okay. But so, if you, but, if you but, said, but, I'm, but, coming. But, I'm, but, I'm but, coming, I'm coming, wait, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Let me finish what I'm saying. Now that they're waiting for government to gazette it for approval, it mm -hmm. has been delayed. They have built Amori in uh, Cuba in for a very long time. Yeah. Now, I have experience with the road safety personnel. If you are going to us, especially the highway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they have this, even before they talk about arming them, they should, they should have orientation and orientation of their personnel. Not all of them should carry arms. And there are areas, if you talk about highways, mm -hmm. where they can stay in the night and all these things, okay. you can say, give them arms. Okay. Because I have experience with them, along with it, they have this attitude of using car to block vehicle that is coming. Mm. And I, I stopped because I mean, they didn't know I was a general, I'm a general this time. I started harassing them. I said, what kind of rubbish is this? Did they not require you to use car to block me as a way of stopping me? There's a car chase. They can chase yeah. you if you, you, can if chase you me. refuse to stop. But if you refuse to stop, but not to use the car to block mm -hmm. me. And when they are blocking me, somebody was up stopping me. A car was following me mm -hmm. behind, mm -hmm. and I was on the speed. Mm -hmm. So I need to park where. And I passed the road safety person there. Because what they do now, if you observe where, they now connect with the police. Yeah, they, they, they have been collaborating yes, with the yes, police. Yes. The police take point is here. Yes, yeah, they will be here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So that immediately you beat road safety, yes, the police will be there. Yes. Yes. They are now collaborating. Oh. Police is teaching them what they did not know. Mm. They are collaborating with the police yes. to do what police are doing. Okay, but so, I need, I need I, to... Uh, okay, okay, so, let me just talk about uh -huh. the, so, the portion of the law on this uh -huh. thing. Uh, can, I, can I finish before you come in? All please? right, quickly, uh -huh. so, so if you look at it, to me, it is either we repeal the law, or, or we arm them and tell them to go to highways. Okay. Mm -hmm. It do not be in it as it has never listen to that. They can be on this because you talk about all these big glories. Mm. They don't have, they don't change particulars. They don't have driver's license. In short, an average outsider who don't have to turn steering of a trailer mm -hmm. can drive on highway. Hey, okay. you, you don't need to be particular so about so driving. You don't need to do that. But I don't want to give a man or any trailer, uh, a, a tanker uh, driver. A tanker driver. You don't have to uh, change uh, uh, can drive. That's why right. there's no train and the train is... Okay, we we'll get you, Mr. 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 Isia. All right, Mr. Yeah, Shisa. What I want to clarify is that mm -hmm. the issue of uh, why haven't they been answered all these days. Yeah, the law doesn't say uh, we establish you go and get armed. It just says we have the power. So sure. it depends on them on whether the risk is there for them to, you know, now start using arms. And I think that is probably, the, that is where they have gotten to now, that they think the risk is too high now. Okay. We can and use the power to, uh, that okay. we're given. But the other point that you also made, which is very important, if they're going to give them arms, um, there needs to be proper training of the people it bearing arms. And, and their process also should also be looked at, as I'm you sorry, mentioned, Barista, whether... <laughs> Let me express my Don't even go there. Let me let me finish. Okay. Okay. I'm just supporting what you said. The other point you also mentioned is that you have to look at the process of I mean, okay. whether should it be to uh, everybody mm, or, or to, to some other section. people. Mm. But more importantly, I think it goes beyond the road safety people or even the I mean, it's just generally law enforcement in Nigeria and the use of arms, whether it's police, whether it's uh, road safety. Oh, whether it's civil defense, mm. you know, we need mm. to look at it generally how arms are used. And I think it also goes 
beyond them, the whole society as well. Okay. The issue of corruption Vision. is also, also comes in here. <laughs> so it's not because we are saying, oh, they are not like the police. Mm -hmm. What is being implied there is that well, police are corrupt, these people too are corrupt. No, no, so no, that is no, a bigger no, that, that, is issue no, for the society so, no to look at. at. Okay. So, you were saying. That's what I see. Uh, I, I saw a video online where a road safety, a road safety a person there, mm. you know, hung on to the, yes. The to steering. A, I think yeah. a woman was driving yeah. that, uh, this thing. I've seen that And the woman yeah, was moving. Yes. Yeah. Mm. You saw the video, right? Yeah. I saw the video, yeah. yeah. Mm. Now, if that guy trips and he fell and died, they will record it as a casualty. Mm. That motorists are killing uh, road safety car personnel. Now, you ask yourself, what is the business you know, with, uh, uh, of a road safety personnel hanging onto the steering of somebody who decided not to stop because of an alleged uh, uh, traffic, uh, traffic offense? offense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, but you, also, you need to also understand that our society is not right for that. In a normal society, you hold somebody for a traffic offense, you must have proof. It's not the word of the officer. That is why we should have traffic cameras. They show you. Okay, you beat, you, you, beat, you beat the red light. Mm. But now you have a last one official, a road safety car, or a, a traffic policeman telling you, you beat the red line. Where's the proof? There's no traffic camera anywhere. So we need to also, before we talk about all these things, we need to put things like that in place. in place. Okay. Mm. So if, 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 I, if, I, if I may come in... No need for... Uh, 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 no, if I, if I may come in at this point, if you, if, you, if you look at it, I have observed, I don't want to indict the present leadership of the road safety. Okay. When Chidioka was there, they have this attitude of, there are some level of discipline among members, the personnel of road safety. The cell that they don't answer call. The way they approach people on the road, quite different. I think the present leadership need to do a lot of homework. They have moving out from where they are before, mm -hmm. where they were before, to another level. In fact, you know, so, you just prompted so, the question yeah, I was going yeah. to ask, so because, how we got to, to this, this level. point. Because I recall, because the present leadership road safety, we used to be really scared yeah, of road yeah. safety officials. And again, they, they, they do not we ask for bribes. They are of police exactly. of everybody. Yes. So of so bribe, you are in yeah. trouble. If I, if, I want to, if I want to come in again, mm. so what if you look at an average Nigerian who is a road user, they know how to flag the laws. Let's, let's just be sincere about it. Yes, that. that's true. And I bet Nigeria want to cut corners to get what he wants. So one way. They don't want to yeah. get their papers in order. They don't want to change their tires. They don't want to even to fix uh, ordinary uh, traffic uh, traficator mm -hmm. that they used to drive vehicle. Mm -hmm. And these are those things that will make road uh, users to drive freely and safely. Mm -hmm. It's not about the road safety. It's about our culture of, culture of mobility in us as a people. Okay. Culture of yeah. indiscipline. So how do we go about it? I think the leadership has to do something about it. Both the road safety and the Nigerian yeah, government, the they should do something about it. And even the people. Even the people also. Yeah, we need no. to ask ourselves a question. It's a what collective, do you need to, it's a collective, collective responsibility. responsibility. We shouldn't leave it out for, try to apportion blame to the road safety because they want to be a No, no, okay. no. So All we right. have to to Nigeria let's, also. Let's take some feedbacks from the viewers. Adia Goroye from Ibadan says, uh, does road safety enforcement rules require the use of arms? Section yes. 19. I, of the, I uh, only fear for the passengers who may be mistakenly shot by an overzealous uh, officer. This other one says, I'm FRSEK. They want to add one more agency to the list of corruption <laughs> directive and control agencies because that is what most of the government agencies, uh, especially the police, they are uh, used to modulate uh, corruption. Pastor Sonny Josephson says, good morning to you all there. Please don't advise the federal government to arm these people because there will be more killings. I'm suggesting they should learn to do their jobs well. Exactly. And they have left their jobs to do other bad things. Uh, these people are bad. If government mistakenly <laughs> give them arms, they will be killing 10 people every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> David from Worry uh, has ten, said that one ten, in. Ten is, is All right, this one says, what's the need of giving them arms when most of them don't know their work? My name is Pato from Akwaibom. Uh, we need to pray for Nigeria. Hmm. <laughs> Prayer can also be All yeah. right, Ike Peter says we are about to encourage another brutal form of extrajudicial killing in this country again. Mark my words: if the federal government makes the mistake of giving arms to the FRSC, this country will be doomed because they will kill more than the police. Even apart from mm. the killing, the extortion. Mm. 
the, the level of the, 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 the Premier gonna League be, that gonna, he has gonna a lot go of work to do. Very high level. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but, yeah, so now you are you, you, you are the mercy of armed people who are asking you to bring thirty thousand mm. because road safety they, their bribe is not is not in the region of uh, one thousand like police five hundred mm. they ask from thirty thousand and they can issue you a ticket and say go to Mediguri and pay mm. so mm. now you are you are in the middle of say should I go to Mediguri and pay? Or, or pay two thousand naira, or pay ten thousand naira. I want, I want, I want, I want, be free. I want yeah. to tell you what is going on yeah. in this city now. That you understand? <laughs> Quickly, that Nigeria may not know. Yeah. If you look at it, when you when you commit offence in this city now, they have a way of using their staff. They, they, I'm just saying it so that the leadership will know. What they do is that they will tell you you transfer money to the staff account and you transfer with commission. Like if they are filed with an offence with a paper, mm -hmm. you transfer to a staff, a staff account who is a staff, a person in that command. Mm -hmm. The person that will go and pay for you like tomorrow, but you have to put additional money for the person. Why they will release you to go? Okay, so the uh, person are, sort of the, like runs the yes, errand. They run the errand. Okay, because they will have POS right, there. So because, like, because, because of that's the, like because establishing of the, a business center. Because, the, because of, of the, no, 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 POS. Uh, let me let me know how. Let me let me explain. No, a POS are there. Let us not have this discussion. What is not it? Because of the TSA, I don't know. Yes, they yes, do yes, TSA also. Yes, yes. They have a, a, a POS in their command. They, you have to print it out. But mm. sometimes the POS has to. I don't know why they destroy it. Uh, but they will tell it's not working. It then they have to transfer money to the account of the personnel who will wow. now go and pay. The next day, but you must put commission. Mm -hmm. so provided mm -hmm. the offense has been uh, documented. That. And, and if you check it, that is so, more. So, so because it's better the for you the rather than traveling yeah. all the way. Uh, hey, you because the government so. has said no, they can't collect huh. money from somebody. You either wow. TTSC or you go to bank and pay, which is a good way mm. to make sure they don't touch. So money. they are bypassing because them. they are bypassing them. Mm -hmm. So because they are bypassing them, they are becoming more aggressive on the road yes. to see what they can hold on yes, to. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. before they, they are collecting, this mm -hmm. is what the government has done to this TSA brought it, and this is where it has put them to a fix. So you can understand an average Nigeria who is standing on the road, not only really safety, mm. who is doing government work, wants to think about the money that will enter his pocket or her pocket. Why go from that day that day mm. and not wow. the salary? So this is the challenge What's we have. We look at the welfare course. of the road safety officers and the time they do, if they are doing the overtime and shift, they should be to some stipend to encourage them mm. so that they can be, be, be having to stay away. These guys will never be encouraged. They have a mindset. Uh, but there has to right. be a solution somewhere. We're just talking about solution to them.